so today I want to check out a phone from Motorola because obviously Motorola has been putting out some nice phones and this is the Moto Z Play uh, which is coming in at a mid-range kind of price uh, but it comes with the uh, Moto Mods ability so you can put different mods on which should be quite nice uh, I might pick up as well the uh, Moto Z uh, but this one uh, is uh, quite nice in itself, that it's got a massive battery and uh, quite good overall performance according to some reviews. So I'm just going to have a look at it here and get it open. Very nice box, you can see a shiny logo. And let's just lift it up. Oh, yes. So, I had a look at the uh, Moto Z actually in John Lewis where I was, and I was quite impressed. Wow, this looks nice. My god, I wasn't expecting this. That is nice. Seriously. I was expecting it to be like rubber, like the Moto X Play, but this is nice. It's like they've copied the Galaxy S6 and made it bigger. Wow, that looks absolutely fantastic. Look at that. Why didn't anyone tell me that Motorola was making such nice phones? I mean, usually I get like comments, why don't you buy this phone? But no one's actually recommended this for some reason. Maybe it's the processor, it doesn't get you high. But we're just going to have a look at the stuff here, what you get in the box. So it looks like you're getting a, uh, like, a instruction manual. You also get your Moto back here, if you don't like the glossy. Wow, that's quite nice that they've included that. So, you know, if you do want to avoid scratches, you might want to put that on. I'm guessing this is a turbocharger. Because recent phones from Motorola definitely charge fast. Yeah, you can see turbo power, that is nice. So we'll just put all those aside for a sec and have a look at the. Uh, the phone, you get obviously a SIM tool, can't do much without that. So this is the phone here, and you can see we're getting 60 megapixel, 5 megapixel front. Wow, massive battery, that is nice. Octa-core. So, you know, I'm really digging this design here. I do wish the fingerprint scanner was a little bit bigger, you know, that would be the icing on the cake. If I can get my camera to focus. Wow, well, I don't want to focus today. But it feels really nice in the hand. I've got to say, you know, much more premium than it actually costs. And it's about €350 Euro where I am. It might be more expensive where you are. Uh, but, you know, I think it represents quite nice value for money in terms of the build quality so you get some buttons here on the side and the uh, type C which is good so it's power it on Moto. So obviously Lenovo owns Moto now. So hopefully they've not installed any, you know, uh, ransomware or anything, super fish or whatever it was called. <laughs> hopefully not. So this is the setup here. Let's go through this quick. I think this is coming with an OMOLED display. OMOLED, OMOLED, 
display. Wow, that's a nice display actually. Very punchy. 5G support, very nice for the Wi Fi. So, when I did this with the Moto G4, it took ages, but this one seems to be going through quite quick, which is nice. And let's go, skip, go, go, go. Oh, green theme. I do like green. Look at that. That is nice. Wow. So this is definitely an OMLED display. I can see the punchiness of it. And so can you. Look at those perfect viewing angles. That is nice. I'm liking this. I'm really liking it. I think it's uh, Snapdragon 625, so not the most high end in terms of the processor, but if it runs, you know, smooth, I think it has three gigs of RAM, so it should be, you know, quite f future proof here. And uh, the 16 uh, megapixel camera, obviously, as well, which is quite nice. Android 6.0.1. And we do have a system update, so something to do with Moto mods. I'll do that in a bit. Let's have a look at the camera before we round the video off. So obviously the OnePlus 3 does compete with this pretty much directly. Well, it did when it was available. It's not available now. So this could be a good alternative if you don't want to pay for the OnePlus 3T. You can see, it takes a shot nice and quick here. Looks pretty sharp. Very sharp. Wow. I'm impressed, you know. I'm really impressed here. I was expecting a more mid-range affair, but with like a bumped up price because of the Moto name. Uh, but so far it feels like a million dollars uh, so yeah I'll do some videos with this one you know checking out the performance and seeing how it is uh, I think you can get some good Black Friday deals with uh, Motorola at the moment as well so do you know check out for that uh, I hope you enjoyed the video find it helpful if you're looking at this phone and I'll see you in the next one cheers